Hi, I'm Jeff Moncrief, Systems Engineering Manager for Cisco Security. Today we're going to talk about StealthWatch Enterprise Edition. We're going to talk about a few features and use cases and a brief high-level overview of how you can use StealthWatch to improve your security operations. StealthWatch Enterprise is the industry-leading visibility and security analytics solution that leverages enterprise telemetry from the existing network infrastructure. It provides advanced threat detection, accelerated threat response, and simplified network segmentation using multi-layer machine learning and advanced behavioral modeling all across the extended network. It is the only solution that can analyze encrypted traffic to detect malware and ensure policy compliance without decryption. So let's get started. To begin using StealthWatch Enterprise, you need a flow collector that collects enterprise telemetry from your existing network infrastructure. And the SMC, or the StealthWatch Management Console, shown here that aggregates, organizes, and presents the analysis. And these are available as either physical or virtual appliances. As soon as you log into StealthWatch Enterprise, you'll see an aggregated view of the security posture of your organization extended across all network hosts. At the top, you can view all different alarms being triggered, such as reconnaissance, data hoarding, data exfiltration, etc. You can see the alarms being triggered by hosts as we scroll down. You can view alarms by type, and you can see total alarm counts for that given day. Right here, you can see the flow collection trend and the top applications being used enterprise-wide. So let's walk through a typical workflow. The first thing you want to look at is the concern index. This alarm is raised if a host is exhibiting any kind of suspicious behavior, such as port or address scanning, malware propagation, etc. Here you can see several hosts that have a high concern index. Let's go ahead and click on one of those. So here we see all of the hosts enterprise-wide that are throwing alarms inside a stealth watch. They're auto-sorted from highest to lowest severity, and you can see several hosts across the top that are triggering several of our different alarm indices. The concern index, as I mentioned earlier, is the most important alarm inside of StealthWatch. So let's go ahead and click on one of these hosts that are exhibiting high concern. Here you can see this given host security event details. We can not only determine the IP address of the machine from where the threat is originating, but through the integration with Cisco Identity Services Engine, or ICE, you can also view the user information. At this point, I think that this machine might be compromised. So for further investigation, let's go ahead and click on the IP address and drill into what's called the host report. Here we have the host snapshot. Every host on your connected network is going to have a host report just like this, showing you detailed security information and visibility information about that given host. As we see here in the host summary widget, along with other information about the host, you see the quarantine and unquarantine buttons. With the quarantine button, you can shut down this host network access instantly by initiating a security group tag change or even a port shutdown, whatever it takes to prevent the malware or the security threat from propagating. After the threat's resolved, it is just as easy to add the host back into the security group using the unquarantine button, giving this host its prior access. So you've seen how StealthWatch Enterprise is able to detect advanced threats in real time, quickly investigate the source of the threat to the infected host, and then through the integration with ICE, easily mitigate threats by enforcing a security policy. All this while maintaining business continuity without any shutdowns. Another unique capability of StealthWatch Enterprise is the ability to simplify segmentation by creating logical host group models using advanced machine learning and behavioral modeling. Now that you can see more, you can do more by creating segmentation policies and also monitor if they're being violated through alarms triggered by StealthWatch Enterprise. These can be created for different business units, domain controllers, locations, etc. For example, the end user logical host group should never talk to the contractor logical host group, or the contractor logical host group should never have access to sensitive servers. Here on the right side, you can also see the geographic locations and applications that this host has communicated with. So if you go to monitor host groups, you can actually see all of the network traffic and security analytics for any given host group enterprise-wide. Across the top, you can see any alarms for that logical host group. As we scroll down, you can see top applications, both inbound 
and outbound for that logical host group. You can also see east and west lateral application traffic inside this logical host group. It's a tremendous amount of visibility on all network communications on every device inside these logical host groups. If you want, you can also click Change Host Group, select a different logical host group based upon the investigation that you're doing currently, select it, and it will change to that logical host group and show you similar statistics for that given logical host group. So you get complete visibility in every part of the digital network. I hope you enjoyed this overview of StealthWatch Enterprise.